Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Hardcore series, but this isn't any normal Let's Play, it's a little Let's Play. Yeah, I'm small, but that's okay because I got some big ideas for this world. Alright, so let's just hop down off this tree and... Oh my gosh, everything is so much taller when you're small. Alright, yeah, there we go. And, uh, any way I can make it to the water? Let's just, I don't know, dig down here. Oh, I got two saplings! First two blocks I broke give me two saplings. All right, <laughs> made it. Basics of Minecraft, punch a tree. So yeah, the reason I'm doing this series is because I've been a little nervous about recording and getting back into Minecraft content. And so I thought, uh, you know what? Let's just do a simple little let's play. And if it's gonna be a little let's play, let's make it a really little let's play. And so all the episodes are super short. I'm only gonna spend one day on each, but of course I got some huge ideas for this world and I hope you guys enjoy. This terrain generation is looking very 2012-y with the floating bit. I think I'm gonna chill here, actually. This is a nice little, like, nook by the ocean. And Our goals for episode one are to get iron tools, build a cute starter house, and not die, because this is hardcore mode. And if I die even once, the world is permanently deleted. So we're gonna try and avoid that. We got some wooden tools. And then I'm immediately gonna upgrade them into stone tools. It is now nighttime. Lovely. I haven't found a sheep. Uh, any over there? Please, please, please. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Guys, gals, folks, and fairies, it looks like we're going for the classic, classy, dig yourself into a wall strategy. I'm less than a half slab tall, so uh, that's pretty cool. I can just kind of hide in here like a little, like a little hobbit. So this tunnel can be like teeny tiny. Some coal. Lovely, lovely. Hello. Hello. All right. I've had enough in here. We're making a run for it. Actually, wait. I need that skeleton. Run, 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 run to the water, run to the water. Whee! All right, we are looking for a shipwreck. I was tired of mining. I feel like I'd get more iron if I just found a shipwreck. Yo, that guy got an enchanted bow. I want that bow. How do I get it? No, I don't. Nope, not worth the risk. I need food. We got food in the water. We got kelp. It's not the best, but as an added challenge in some of my worlds, I can't like kill animals. And instead I have to rely on like apples, bread and all that. And boom, we got food. You eat this really fast, but it has some terrible saturation. I kind of want to seal that man's bones when he burns to death in the morning. And then I will use his bones to grow. Oh, <laughs> uh, sir. Sir, I need you. I was gonna use your bones to make bread. I was gonna make bone bread. How dare you despawn on me? Real homies remember glitchy boats crashing into lily pads and exploding. <gasps> hey, a ship, let's go. Okay, this is a weird one. It's like on an angle. We got some potatoes. We got some poisonous potatoes. We got a mending shirt. <gasps> let's go, bunch of iron, bunch of emeralds. And what we do with our first piece of iron is make a shield. Now I can fight the skeletons without being obliterated. Right over there. The biome I'm looking for. And uh, no, not the birch. Uh, I actually like birch. If they just made the trees like a tiny bit taller, then, well, I mean, when you're small, they're already really tall. Anyways, I am here for this bad boy. All right, and while we're here, we might as well try and get some saplings. <gasps> There's a fire. There's a forest fire. Oh no, should I go and stop that? Ooh, I should probably go stop that. But I'm busy getting saplings. But I should go stop the fire, but I wanna get more saplings so I can go home. Lots of different things we could call this series. Little Let's Play, Mini Minecraft, Small Survival Series. There's so many options. Uh, if you have any other cool ideas, uh, leave a comment down below. All right, that's enough saplings for me. And we go back to the water, just in time for nighttime. Uh, you know, I, I think if I leave the area that forest fire, <gasps> sheep, 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 come here, come here. Please, please be my friend, come here. Oh, that's enough. Go, 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 go. Sleep. Let's go. Maybe try and stop the spreading of the fire. That is so cursed. What? I think the generating of the lava pool caused this to pop. All right, back to the boat. Yo, this ship is completely sideways. We swim. Is this close? Wait, let's go find this. 
Oh, and that's my cliff over there. My 2012 cliff. 2012 cliff, my beloved. Wait, that's not even an island. <laughs> this treasure's just straight up in the middle of the ocean. Right next to my base. So line yourself up with the X. It's under that gravel block. And there's our chest. Woo, diamonds! Oh, pretty sunset. And with that, and the pretty sunset, we grab our first two diamonds. Let's go. There we go, all geared up. We're hanging up that mountain to grab some spruce. And uh, you know, it doesn't look like a tall mountain, but when you're super tiny, it is tall. Boop, boop, yahoo, wahoo, wah There we go, got a sapling. Let's try and get four so we can get one of those mega spruce trees. Da -da -ba -dum -ba -dum. <gasps> Hello, oh goodness, that drop scared me. Oh, wait, wait, what did I see? What did I see over there? Did I see something? Oh, there are mega trees over there. I did! Okay, there's a ruined portal here. After looting the portal's chest and getting some pretty good enchantments, I decided it was a great idea to keep exploring farther away from my house. Don't mind me, just gonna break my ankles falling down this mountain. Parkour. Hardcore parkour. Okay, my house is on the other side of this mountain. I left my bed. Where's my house? Where's my house? Where's my- oh! Run. Oh, oh. <laughs> I see my boat. I see my boat. I don't even have any, like, good food on me. What was I doing? Oh, I see you. I see you. No. Stay over there. Stay over there. Stay over there. Come on. Come on. Three more seconds. Three more seconds. Move. You dare to try and get me. Me. While I am loving this beach setup we got going on, I think it's time to finally set up a proper starter house. We're right here next to 2012 Cliff. And so the first step, I think, is going to be to plant some of these trees and wait for one of the mega tigers to grow. It's raining. And so began the side quest for bone meal. Any skeletons? Any skelly boys? Any skeletors? And we got a fight on our hands. It's neck and neck, folks. Who will win Mr. Skelly number one or Mr. Skelly number two? The fight is getting intense and it's a draw! And now I steal their bones. Yoink. Oh, it grew. Awesome. All right, and what we really needed was this podzol. Oh, there's a zombie over here. <gasps> Don't you dare ruin my real estate. Don't. Oh my goodness. That was stressful. I need this ground. It's valuable. All right, and you may be thinking, wow, Koki Cake sure did get a lot of wood out of that one tree, but that's not why we did it, folks. That is not why we did it. You see, mushrooms can be planted directly onto Podzol, and you can't on grass because it's, it's, it, it just doesn't work. But you can do it on Podzol, and this, this is the key to our starter house. So let's teleport to the time lapse. Wow, wasn't that a short time lapse? And here you can see our lovely little mushroom house. And honestly, super simple, but I think it looks really, really cute. You can make like a whole village of these out of like the different mushrooms. So if we head on in here, you can see like we got the little wonky roof. This trap door leads inside and I thought we could decorate this together. So we're just gonna punch out this middle to give us some more wiggle room to work with. And then this side is going to be our like storage and workspace. And we got, you know, a little, the little chimney actually connecting to the furnace and then maybe some decorations. We'll put a little mushroom in there for right now. And then over here in this corner, I was thinking we could put the bed and we could just try and hide it maybe a little bit with the trap doors, have it look kind of lofted almost. And then the final thing is gonna be a lantern right there in the middle. So this is honestly super roomy for a little person like me, but we got lots of storage. We got ourselves the bed, we got ourselves a cooking thing, and uh, I am in fact smaller than a half slab. I can, I can fit under here, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna just move everything from the beach into here, and then this place is pretty much ready to rock and roll. 
it's kind of hard to travel on foot, so eventually I will be making a dock so we can get around by boat. And you can see I have the start of a coarse dirt path here leading up to the house. And I thought I'd just leave the rest of the podzol in for right now, but I'll probably switch that out later. And with that, we have iron tools, a starter house, and we didn't die, meeting all three of the goals I set out for this episode. If you guys like this short and simple type gameplay, please leave a comment down below because I'm incredibly nervous to get back into Minecraft content. Thank you so much. And if you enjoyed even one second of this video, bop that like button and make sure you're subscribed to see future content. Bye.